Okay, so the Protocon 40s are gone. Here is the new uh, roll cage. It is like a sport cage, I wanna say. So it's gonna be mainly for the front. There are um, some like rear reinforcement section pieces. So that's that's kind of cool. Um, we're mainly just worried about the front because on a Wrangler, the front windshield, let me show you guys. All right, so the front windshield, um, there's no support right here. The roll cage, it goes inside of this pillar. Um, just speaking of before, we're similar to a two door, but uh, the roll cage goes through here and you know, it goes through the sound bar and then a bar goes right here and then it stops. So the only thing holding up the front um, section of the Jeep is the windshield and that's it. They actually reinforced that on the JL, which is pretty cool. Um, that's really nice. But uh, every other Wrangler is the same, you know, they don't have any reinforcement for the front. Um, so, you know, if you were to tip over on or off road, you know, it's a lifted Jeep, things can go wrong. Uh, they're just in general more sketchy to drive on the road, especially, you know, if you don't have all your uh, quality suspension in check, you know, things happen. Uh, idiot drivers, stuff like that, just stuff out of your control can happen. Um, and I've seen a lot of cases where Jeeps roll without a roll cage or without a sport cage or anything and this whole section crushes in that's where your head is so you know it's better to be um, safe and sorry so that's why we went with this uh i guess it's basically considered like a one-time use roll cage so you know if we roll it or whatever it's not going to be as terrible as like a aftermarket weldon poison spider etc so that one you could pretty much just roll down a mountain and still you know keep driving or whatever but um, yeah, we're probably gonna paint match it, install it. There's gonna be a cinder crossbar. There's a little bit more of a reinforcement up here. So that's gonna be a lot safer than stock. And it is a little bit more cost effective too. So if you're not trying to spend a whole lot on an aftermarket cage. All right, so taking a look back at the cage here, I'm pretty sure this is the front windshield crossbar. And um, let's see here. I think that one is gonna be for above for extra support. And then these are gonna be the A-pillar ones. Gonna be um, bolting to your door jam right here, handle, then up to the windshield visor area. Um, this is gonna be where the windshield A-pillar is. But yes, uh, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be much more simple to install than the Rock Hard 4x4 cage was. We had a really tough time. Uh, many others did as well too. So hopefully this one won't give us as much trouble. But yeah, this is the Smitty Built cage. Um, not really like the biggest fan of Smitty Built, but uh, we're just gonna give this a try because this stuff actually is really sturdy. It's really thick. So, I mean, it's not like a bunch of cheap thin metal. So it's actually, you know, gonna serve its purpose. All right, so looking at this cage, like an overview, just mocking it up right now. Uh, kind of trying to get an idea of how it's gonna go in. Um, we'll be looking at the online instructions later um you can see how it kind of goes together like a puzzle right here so it should be a lot more simple um just kind of lining everything up gotta make sure uh, i follow the exact order of operations of installing you know the a pillars and all that so nothing gets misaligned pretty much but this cage actually is for a 07 to 10 model as you guys can tell you know on the side here it's got the little lump or whatever i guess you could call it for the uh 07 dash which is fine because this did come out of a 2014 um so i'm pretty sure it's gonna fit mine if it does not i can always modify it because i mean this piece right here looks like it could be shaved down some um just to make it cleaner because i don't really know i mean that looks like it needs to be shaved down anyways you know it's plenty thick too just like the rock art cage um the only thing that probably would not be as thick is these crossbars not really 100 percent sure but i mean the rest of it like the main stuff structure all this is thick um yeah it's like this support stuff up here you know that's like thick solid metal it's not any like cheap um uh, metal so that's good looking down here at these uh clamp pieces and stuff it's kind of weird never really seen that before they got like a, a bolt on the bottom and then these three bolts Obviously, you're gonna go like that, but it's got a bolt going to the bottom, so that's kind of interesting. Main four bolts, pretty sure those are gonna be for the rear pieces over there. And I got all these small ones. These are just a little bit longer. Pretty sure the same thread though. All right, so this is one of those late night installs after work, but um, I'm probably only gonna do the front half of the front portion tonight, and then um, probably this weekend do the rear. 
uh, just because it's just, you know, one section at a time. And hopefully this should be pretty simple. You know, the, just the A pillars and the crossbar. Uh, I'm gonna start, hold on, let's see here. Okay, so I'm gonna start taking the doors off and then obviously, you know, start taking out, um, I guess like the, uh, whatever this thing called, my mind's going blank, it's late at night. Uh, you know, these late night install vibes. I'm gonna start taking out those uh, bolts up there, those main bolts, and also these side panels. So it should be pretty simple. Um, and then with the door out of the way, we're gonna be able to get to um, all this stuff right here. So yeah, it should be pretty simple. I mean, the door's gotta come off anyway because the um, hinge that's gotta be removed for the template there to drill the holes. So here's a look into all of this stuff. Pretty sure this is the factory tweeter wire. I'm not really sure. As you guys can see, I have some like aftermarket tweeters from the previous owner. Uh, they do work. I'm not really sure how we wired them up though. They kind of like go behind here. I don't really know where that goes. I'm not really a big fan of wiring. So probably not gonna mess with that this time around. Probably gonna um, just stuff it back where it was. And uh, worry about that later because I'm not really too worried about sound right now. Just really trying to get this cage in. So uh, we're going to take off this door hinge bracket. We're going to be leaving this one though. All right, so that is both side panels off. Now I'm just moving up to this uh, 13 mil up here for the windshield or the sun visor. All right, so the 13 millimeter bolts, um, those were not for the uh, sun visor. And it's pretty obvious these little uh, torques are for the sun visor. I'm really not even sure what these bolts are for. They just go into the windshield. They're not really holding any, any uh, you know, plastic materials or panels or anything like that. So, yeah, the uh, sun visor is just held on by two tiny Torx bits. So, as you can see, it's just dropping away. All right, so that's out. Yeah, I like to put the hardware in this little cup right here. It's cool having the manual because you get that little storage for bolts and stuff. But um, let's set that back here on the passenger side. So I know which side it came from. All right, so here's a better look. Now those uh, two 13 mils are out and then the two small Torx bolts are out. That's pretty much it. I think we've got to pull this plastic panel off too. You know, I found a way to kind of shimmy the uh, A-pillar assembly in here. Uh, it does kind of tear this up a little bit on the plastic. Yeah, that's barely clear. So I've got that bolted up right there. That hole does not match up with that thread. Okay. So here we are in the morning. Took off, well, let me show you over here. Took off the driver's side, all the paneling and stuff, and then just kind of tested. This one, this side actually went in a lot easier for some reason. Let's see, it's it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than the uh, passenger side. So, as you guys remember, the passenger side was really weird on the fitment. As you, you guys remember I had to like kind of pull this back. And then what we kind of noticed was it was making contact right here, which is to be expected. I have to grind all this um, casting down a little bit. And uh, the previous shop that installed this cage, you can see how they ground down. Uh, on the back side of this too. So it looks like they had some trouble with that fitment on this same side. So that kind of makes me feel better. But yeah, I mean, it it will fit. It, like, like I said earlier, it came out of a 2014. It's just a matter of, you know, grinding this down a little bit. Loosely fitting the A-pillars in so I can get the uh, crossbar in because I got to make sure that's going to go in perfect uh, before, you know, I start drilling holes and all that good stuff. But I'm kind of doing it all loosely without these top holes or the top bolts, the 13 mils in there. But, you know, this is a mass produced cage that's kind of common for, you know, to have fitment issues. The shop that installed this cage on the other uh, 2014 Jeep said that it was a huge pain as well. It's gonna be structurally secure. So that is all that matters to me. Um, you know, if a bolt is, you know, like misaligned and just like cosmetically wise, that does not matter to me at all. Um, all right, so I actually uh, decided to trim a little bit um, on the Jeep casting and also 
on the cage just because the cage is replaceable. Um, you know, I can afford to, you know, mess up a little bit on the cage. So a little bit more room for air there. Um, you can see I ground down to make this thinner on the bottom parts. And then kind of right here in the middle. This is still super thick though, because there's a plate as you can see. So that's, that's fine. Didn't get into any threads or anything, threads on the bottom side. Uh, also clearance this a little bit, just from shoving it in there, you can kind of see like where it scrapes. So you'll see like, uh, you know, where to grind. Might have to do it on the driver's side too. So we'll just see how that goes. All right, so a lot more room for activities now. Uh, before this was going, uh, pushing out this way onto the dash. As you can tell, it's got a lot more wiggle room, easier to slide in and out. Yeah, so that uh, um, thread is actually pushed more closer to the uh, holder drill there. So that looks pretty spot on right there too. Uh, I'm just gonna have to play it by ear and see uh, what's gonna line up and what's not. As y'all can see, uh, this had to be ground back a little bit too. Just a uh, little visual there for you guys. Probably just gonna see if I can get the crossbar in here now. Maybe have to ground down the other side some more and then put these factory bolts up. And then if that, all that fits, then I'll start drilling pretty much accordingly to how this is gonna sit. All right, so good news so far. Uh, crossbar is in. Still got some stuff to figure out, obviously. You know, these bolts have to come up to bring this up. So this is obviously sitting on the dash right now. That needs to come up. There's some more um, super tight fit right here. Uh, let's see here. Probably just going to see if this needs clearancing back here anymore. So might, uh, yeah, probably just gonna pull this off and see if it's rubbing anywhere. If it is, I'll ground it down. And I'll get some bolts like in the threads up here to just kind of have everything together before I start drilling holes and see where we go from there. All right, so here is the driver's side. Just pulled it out for you guys to show you a little up close here. You can see where it was rubbing exactly. And that's fresh because uh, you know, there's like metal flakes and stuff. So uh, here on the bottom region. And then let's see, we're pretty good up here. So I think that's fine on the driver's side. And then just a little bit more right here. Yep, so that should be all the places that we're rubbing. So I'm just gonna thin this out a little bit and then thin this out a little bit too. So we'll just uh, go from there. Probably ground down with the Jeep a little bit too. It won't hurt anything. All right, so got the driver's side A pillar back in after grinding down on the uh, casting of the Jeep and the cage piece, but um, yeah, so I've got the factory uh, sun visor bolts, whatever, this 213 millimeters. Got those both in just loosely though, they're not tight. So it's just kind of like a loose fit. And I also got the crossbar in now. So as you can see, we've got just a hair to come up a little bit. So this is gonna get pulled up, but um, did not want to do that yet until we got these bolts in here. It's kind of a, Weird fit, but hopefully these bolts will be able to get in here just fine. Um, and then I'm gonna sync these up and then I guess I'll just drill the holes after that. So pretty much just doing all the uh, factory fitment first before I do any, you know, permanent drilling. Um, it looks like the bar is gonna clear just fine. As you can see. So that's good. Um, that's different about the rock card cage is this bar sits lower than the, uh, rock hard cage one does i think the rock hard one comes up here it's a little bit more in your vision too this is a lot more uh lower clearance i guess you could say a little bit more out of the way uh everything is greased up so that should help with uh, uh movement and shifting you know later on down the road just you know better than no grease so uh just use multi-purpose grease there uh, i got the crossbar here um and i kind of put my hands like around where it connects on both sides and I kind of felt the whole cage, kind of like shifted it back and forth and felt what was loose, what wasn't. Uh, this side felt tighter, that side felt looser. So I'm gonna start with the bolts uh, on the crossbar over here first. So that way, um, you know, it's not more difficult to put these in because this is 
uh, more fixed. But uh, as I was saying, this side is like uh, more in place rather than, it's just kind of hard to explain, but this side is takes a little bit more like tweaking to get the bolts in. So I kind of want to do that side uh, first, just because it should uh, allow some more flexibility there. All right, so I got these, I uh, got this bolt in, got the bolt in behind it. I uh, got those threaded in just kind of loosely. It's kind of hard to tell because it's really tight right here. Um, it's a little bit more loose on this side. Yeah, you can hear it, but got those two bolts in over there. And then I also got a 13 millimeters up here on each side. Got those uh, in there loosely, as you can tell, they're just threaded in just by a few threads just to uh, kind of hold everything in place. I'm gonna finish up tightening these bolts here. So I get those kind of snug and then I'll end up finishing snugging these up top. And then that's pretty much a factory fit right there. And I've ground it down on both sides back here as much as possible. So, I mean, if there's any weird fitment, it's just gonna be because of the cage. So we'll just have to see about drilling the holes. All right, uh, by the way, guys, I'm pretty sure this is not how the instructions tell you to do it. This is just me uh, doing it the best way that I think I looked at the instructions and it didn't really seem like a uh, a good option to be honest because it, I think the instructions were telling you to like drill the holes for these first and then install it. I think that was similar to how the rock hard cage was and I'm pretty sure that would lead me to a huge failure um, just because of how everything is so like custom fit having to trim everything. I just I feel like this is the best way i'm just methodically just trying to get everything everything in the place that it wants to sit so i've already got the crossbar got those bolts tight got this those bolts tight so that's those that's sitting how it naturally wants to so this is clamped in together as you can see it's like a jigsaw puzzle so both sides are tight those bolts went in great uh no cross setting there that's fine so i'm probably gonna run these bolts up run those bolts up kind of bring the cage up a little bit so if you look here, this has just a little bit of clearance. Um, this one has less clearance. So I think I'm gonna try to pull this one up first. So that way it would kind of help pull on this one a little bit, I guess you could say. So it would not uh, bring this one up as much. So they'd be kind of, you know, even it out a little bit, I want to say, or that's what makes sense in my head, <laughs> physics wise. I don't know, I could be completely wrong though, guys. Um, you know, do this at your own risk, obviously. This is just how I'm doing it. and. I think it's a lot more of a safer route than what we did on the rock hard cage because that was a nightmare. So before I do any major permanent drilling, I put the doors on each side to make sure that the door closes, make sure that none of this is uh, going to hit anything. So we are good there. Uh, just putting the other template on right now, just to kind of uh, make my marks here to see where it's supposed to be drilled. Um, but obviously, you know, as I mentioned before, it's gonna be a little bit off. So I'm just gonna have to, you know, fill it out and drill where I think it's gonna be. So this is just gonna be kind of like a little guide, I guess. So, I mean, it should be the right uh, position up and down, like vertically. It's just probably gonna be off uh, horizontally. So this will definitely help a little bit. I made a mark right here. So what I did is I came from it at the side. I saw the middle of the uh, nut right here, the thread uh, directly in the middle. And I got my Sharpie like this. So that's the, the middle of the thread right there and that's where the uh, sharpie line was so that's gonna be um, the vertical measurement right there so that's that's something to mark it by and then the horizontal mark is from the uh, template so obviously that's gonna be a little bit off because you know the cage is weird fitment just kind of looking at it one more time before we start drilling and then hopefully it will be somewhere in the center of that. I'm gonna start with a small drill bit first, obviously, uh, just to be on the safe side. I 
drilled the hole and it goes all the way through and it uh it it's actually in the nut right here so it's it went all the way in and it's pretty much centered in the nut so i'm going to go up in the drill a bit size and then enlarge the hole and try not to but like I was saying, uh, trying not to hit the threads with the drill bit because that's the last thing I want to do is mess up the threading on those nuts back there for the bolts. All right, so that worked really well for me. Um, personally, just doing that and then being really careful not to hit the uh, threads, not going too far. So that took a lot of finesse and uh, being careful. But if you guys can see, threads are perfect. Um, um, bolts going in perfect. It's aligned perfect. This is amazing now if we could just do that on the uh, the rest of them this one and the rest that'd be awesome but as you guys can see that is money it's awesome um this is really good news so far uh really had a hard time doing that on the rock hard cage so um it looks like the you know the method for lining all that up was uh pretty good this this is awesome i packed this uh the threads in here with grease so we uh would eliminate any slight possibilities of um assisting to cross threading so we do not want any cross threading but look at this we are almost all the way threaded top bolts as i was drilling um these holes right here uh you know being really careful not to let the drill bit hit the the threads you know just drilling just through this material um, after I was doing that, I would have a shop vac, a vacuum, and I would put it on this and get, um, you know, try to suck all the, uh, metal shavings and stuff like that. So the threads were very clean. All right. So we are snug on both of those. There's some black paint on there. I'm going to do some acetone and wipe that off, make them silver again. But, uh, yeah, this looks really nice. This looks awesome. I'm so, so glad I did not follow the instructions and trust in my gut on this. Uh, this could be different for anybody, obviously, but um i'm gonna put this hinge back on and this will be a clean install over here so there's no um you know nothing is really torn up there's no there's like no several holes gaped out holes or whatever and as you can tell where the cage naturally sits uh this bolt lines up with this one so i mean that's that's not even where the template was uh, that was just kind of judging off of where i thought it was so that came out awesome let's hope we can do the same on that side all right, so uh, one quick little tip uh, before I show you guys everything. Putting these hinges back on, you can see like if you shift it, that's where the uh, the paint did not cover from the factory on these bolts. So I like to get them snug and then shift it to where they were originally. You guys can kind of see just like that in position. Okay, so this is the final product um, for the front anyways. I'm not really sure how uh, the orientation I did this in is gonna fare with installing the, the rear section up here. As you guys can see, there's gonna be another crossbar that goes um, above here that attaches. So I'm not really sure if that's gonna make things difficult. I might just have to loosen these bolts up to attach that one. We will see later. But um, for now, I got the main, uh, most important part in section. As you guys can tell, these bolts right here are awesomely lined up. Um, perfect, these are nice and snug. Gotta clean them up later. Uh, acetone those, make them silver, shiny again. Um, yeah, we successfully put the 07 cage and an 11 newer so 13 model right here this is really cool solid you know the only thing is in this little piece right here that's just cosmetics don't really care it clears the door everything is perfect uh dash bar clears perfect everything else is the same as the other cage though so all the bolts are snug everything is perfect this is just sheet metal it's really thin um it got a little wavy that's okay i can literally bend it with my finger i might end up going back and fixing this putting some touch up paint on it obviously that matches but for right now i do not care um just to be honest because you really won't see it you know with the door on it's not that big of a deal this this stuff right here is thicker this stuff right here is very thin and you can bend it with your finger so um yeah not even a big deal to me i'm not worried about the little things like that too much and i'm very happy that no bolts cross threaded uh, that is very easy to do on other cages and cages in general. Just being a mass-produced cage, you know, there's there's nothing that's ever going to be perfect because I've heard from a lot of people that small sections can be different because, you know, every Jeep is different. Um, you know, machines aren't perfect. There's just little increments that can get off. So unless you're getting a cage made specifically for your Jeep, it's most likely going to have some type of fitment issues. Um, that's just what people are saying online too. 
But as you can tell, the bolts um, right here line up perfectly. That's from not following a template. Uh, the template kind of helped, but also using, you know, just like looking above and then looking from the side here to match up with this nut on the back for the threads. And that pretty much centered it up perfect. That just, it took a long time of just looking back and forth and getting that center. You know, drilling the drilling the holes out with a uh, pilot pilot hole, and then a bigger drill bit, and then not hitting the threads. Uh, you can see like the cables and stuff for the Bluetooth microphone. That's kind of cool. I actually kind of like that. It looks you know modern or rugged, like it's ready for you know some kind of battle or something. But it looks pretty good from the outside. Like I mentioned before, the bar sits a lot lower, so it has more visibility. So that's pretty cool there. Also, leaving these plastic pieces out up here because I did not want to trim those. Okay, so the only thing that I would have changed about uh, the installation would have been grinding the A pillars and the dash behind that beforehand. But that's okay the way I did it though because uh, I needed to know exactly how much I needed to trim, you know, just kind of shoving in there and then seeing the marks on it. Doing all that, just kind of feeling everything out, making sure that it all felt right. And you know, just, uh, you know, basic physics and all that worked really well for me. But I really am happy with this model. Glad that I got this one instead of the um, 2011 newer for this uh, 2013 model, because on the 2011 newer, it has like a flat spot right here and it looks kind of weak. Really do like the 07, how it just goes straight up straight into the a pillar tube i love that it looks much more rigid it just seems to be better designed i could be wrong about that but uh yeah extremely happy with how this came out i personally love it um i'm really happy with how everything came out and the install and everything everything is nice and solid and it's not going anywhere